welcome to this video where we are going to go through the exercise of lesson 1 for biology for class 7th as you know lesson 1 deals with plant and animal tissues so let's go through the exercise because we have already done the explaining part before let's go here so the exercise mentions first is multiple choice questions the first question is group of similar cells to perform a specific function and I know by now you already know that it is tissue. Then the small fine branches given out from the cell body of a nerve cell and I believe by now if you see the cell body properly in the diagram of the nerve cell you will find that. Dendrites. The fluid connective tissue of humans is if you studied connective tissue fluid connective tissue by now you'll know that the answer is blood and lymph now define tissue now the definition of tissue is very clearly given if we have a look here on page number two page number two here we can find the definition very clearly given group of cells which are similar in structure and perform a specific function and known as tissue so that also answers tissue organ is also given here about the cells organized to form tissues and tissues tissues organized to form organs so we can get the definition of organs which is not very nicely given in the book so we can add one more line there as you can see here their organs are made up of tissues to perform a particular function so we can write here it's very clearly mentioned i hope for you then we go answer the following what is a meristematic tissue so meristematic tissue is the plant tissue found in growing parts of the plants and how it is different from the permanent tissue uh, meristematic tissue is a, a tissue that has cells that are still dividing and are alive and in permanent tissues the cells have stopped dividing and mostly the cells are uh, no more alive or they are dead cells then we go to further which living material would you take to demonstrate meristematic tissue the meristematic tissue will be found only in the growing parts so for finding the growing parts we can get uh, tip of the root tip of the stem or tip of the branches which are still growing so these are having meristematic tissue the next question here is what is the function of meristematic tissue and the function of meristematic tissue is to help in the growth of the plant okay now we come to true and false here a tissue is formed only of only one type of cell tissues are made of similar type of cells so in general we can consider it true but we should not forget there are exceptions like blood that may have different kind of cells and also complex tissues like the vascular tissues of xylem and phloem they also may have different kind of cells so we have to consider the exceptions as well only one type of tissue forms an organ now that may not be correct okay permanent tissue is made up of uh, undifferentiated and dividing cells and there we know it is not correct then meristematic tissue is found at the growing tips of the plants and that is correct phloem is formed of dead tubular cells and that is also found to be correct okay so now we come to the uh, fill in the blanks yeah words are given so it becomes very easy a group of different tissues working together to perform a function is called an organ so here this is also the answer the organ this is also the answer to this particular question here that what is an organ so the answer is here itself if we are smart we can find it out easily which we will the xylem and phloem form vascular tissues also known as conducting tissues okay now conducting tissues are also known as vascular tissues cells are elongated and thick at the corner of colenchy colenchyma tissues okay then we come to know parenchyma is composed of large thin walled cells i believe by now the answers have been picked right from top it's very easy to give there now we go to uh, match the following fibrous connective tissue then we go to areolar tissue then fluid connective tissue we go to blood supportive connective tissue we got a cartilage ligament what does ligament do it connects the bone to another bone and then we have tendon and what does the tendon do it connects the muscle with the bone all right so i believe by now we can move forward and see here 
<coughs> how do you rank the following with respect to a cell tissue organ or an organism so when we go to amoeba it is at a cellular level euglena is also at a cellular level skin is an organ lung is an organ neuron is a we know that neuron is again a cell and then we come to cardiac muscle which is again a tissue then we go further each of the tissues lined in column a are related to one of the functions given in column b so let's have a look epithelial tissue is for protection then uh, connective tissue is for support vascular tissue is for transport nervous tissue is for message and muscular tissue is for movement so this also helps you with finding the functions of tissues it's easy then we go further what carries uh, oxygen around your body you know it's blood bring about movement in animals muscles do that then transports food to different parts of the plants phloem does it transport of water in the plants xylem does it support an animal body now what supports we again know this is supportive connective tissue now binds different tissues together we know this is fibrous connective tissue then conducts messages from one part of the body to another that is nervous tissue so the next question is to identify the epithelial tissues which you can easily do i've done it for you here yeah. this first one here is cuboidal uh, epithelium then we come to columnar epithelium and then we come to ciliated columnar epithelium i hope it is clear then we go further here these questions question number 10 write three differences between two principal vascular tissues it's on page number five let's go to page number five. Oh, the answer is given the answer is given here between xylem and flow and the two vascular tissues it's given here you can see this is page number five and the answer is answer number 10 easy it is easy no problem let's go to the next one question number 11 mention the main characteristics features of meristematic tissue and where do you find these and what are the functions so very easy here first we have to now go to meristematic tissue which is very easily we will move we found meristematic tissue and here are the characteristics of meristematic tissue okay where do we find them we find them in actively dividing growing points of the plant so we, they are found in the growing parts of the plant okay these are the characteristics given here this is page number three okay and the function we already know by now is growth so the function of meristematic tissue is what growth function is function of meristematic tissue is growth now name the plant tissue which helps in the movement of water so the answer is xylem xylem helps in the movement of water and minerals in, minerals in the body what are the various type of cells present in it so we have to go to page number five again let's go to page number five and page number five and here we get the answer the various tissues xylem tissue consists of these different kind of cells so it is clear parts also are given here answer is given here very clearly given okay so it's not that difficult it's only that little effort is required okay now we come to next one which plant tissue is responsible for distribution of food so we know distribution of food the plant tissue required is known as phloem okay now name the parts or the four component parts of the tissue again we have to go to page number five let's go to page number five and here we have phloem here are the parts that phloem consists of the various parts are given here and this is again if you see this is page number five only so the answer is very clearly mentioned here also no problem let's go further name the various types of animal tissues and their functions now this is very easy actually because uh, um, on page number seven the names are given and the functions are given in brackets so let's have a look here this is page number seven yes and here is the answer animal tissues all the animal tissues are given 
and in the bracket the functions are given easy so it was very easy not a problem at all there's not a single question here that was very difficult actually to solve and i'm sure you must have done it by now but still now we come to give the structure and function of different type of epithelial tissues now this goes to again page number seven let's go to page number seven here yeah page number seven on this page here these are all epithelial tissues here see this from here starts one two three four so all these epithelial tissues here this full uh, paragraph here gives you your answer everything is properly detailed and very nicely given here from here you can pick up the answer it's easy it's very easy and videos also i have given you i'm sure you must have gone through the videos so you may not have any difficulty if you have seen the videos which are very detailed and i've given very uh, other videos also from youtube that will help you please do look at the videos please do watch them uh, because they are for your help only and actually this exercise should be done by you yourself this is uh, to find out whether you've understood or not understood uh, if if i give you simply the answers and you don't read the the book or you don't understand then you know it's a useless thing this exercise is just to know that have you understood or not and if you're not please do ask your doubts i will clear your doubts but okay let's go further <clears throat> draw the structure and function of different type of epithelial tissues so i'm sure you can do this this is also on page number uh, seven as mentioned there so this is the diagrams in case you wish to have to you need to draw them you can draw them easily and functions also are given here 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 and you can see the functions are very easily given so we can do this very easily not a problem at all it was no problem at all then it comes to draw the diagram of neuron label it and show its for various parts so not only these parts but you can enter and you can draw the entire diagram and show all the parts possible which is here figure 1.12 on page number 10 it's easy page number 10 here's the figure of neuron easy you could have made it no problem at all then we come to the last question here name the three main kinds of muscular tissues give the exact location of each kind and also where they are found in the body so location of the muscles have to be given let's have a look and see can we find this where do we find muscles oh yes we found muscles on page number nine and here everything is given one two three all the three types are given their locations are well also given here um, the all the straightened muscles are around the um, skeletal system you can find them in the face your neck your legs and then you can see unstrated muscles you can find them in various parts like the urinary uh, bladder and then similarly your cardiac muscle you can find in the heart which you already know so it was easy i believe by now uh, i've given you a hint you can go ahead and solve the exercise of less plant and uh, animal tissue god bless you thank you very much